Welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin Clevett and I'm out on a garden room build. Now, when I put these designs together, I do a basic design and send it off to a sort of timber frame engineer. And between us, we come up with a solution for everything beams, joists, floors, walls, to make it work structurally and then we can submit those calculations to the building control. I like to use glue lamb, don't like to use any steel and the glue lamb is just a much nicer material. Now I've been asked before when joining these together by viewers to say how do you butt them together and join them and not have any fixings on show or hangers or anything like that. So this is a situation where I'm actually going to be using one of these particular contraptions it's by simpson and this particular one is an et160 and what it is effectively it's like a dovetail that slides together so the post in this case is routed out to receive that section okay and that gets set in and that's actually just nailed in believe it or not with these particular nails i mean they can't be any old nails they have to be the simpson nails they're really weird they're like really thick let me just show you that and they've got this really solid almost like a masonry pin you know but they're really good so you spike those in on there and on the end of the post you put this bracket which actually will then slide in and lock it all off there okay now the really weird thing is when you first see these you think does that really look strong enough to do the job i mean sometimes we have six meter long glue lamb beams hanging off of these but the engineering is quite incredible because the screws these actually get screwed on the screws are actually directed at around about 45 degrees and it just seems counterintuitive because they're actually going that way you'd think that if they were going that way they would hold more but the engineering behind them absolutely works they're super strong now if you're doing lots of these simpson actually do like a um, aluminium it's like a frame effectively and you put it on there and you fix this to it so it holds it because when you're screwing it's wanting to pull down so what they have is two screws which are square first they're the first two you're going to screw you're going to screw them really tight and then you want to pilot these as well if you don't pilot them and you screw your screw in and it and it pulls it towards one way it's a problem so just like you was hanging a door just use one of these little trend centering bits like that every time and then it's not going to move and the joint will be absolutely flush at the top which is what we're looking for so i'm going to get on fix these on this is going to be fixed to a center line these will be fixed to a center line and that's basically it so we'll get on fix them on and get this thing stood up so this bit which gets effectively nailed on to this route out section there even though it's nailed i'm going to put a little pilot in for the nails as well because i want them to be in the center and i'm actually having to do all of this without this a contraption that simpson have so we want to basically get a center line down the middle of here so we're here and we are here there is a fixing on the middle line so we can just if we get that mark through there there we go and i'm going to put that in the middle on that center line let me just see i hope you can see that and then we'll pilot that as well just to start it off to make sure it's a 100 percent stick this in And we can put the first nail in it seems alien to be nailing these you think they would just be all screwed right let's pop these in these bits out of the way that
It's a tiny pilot bit. It's literally 10 mil. I'm going in about 10 mil, maybe even less than that. And that's just to get those nails exactly where I want them. Let me get a few more. Have we've got enough? Yeah, let's move that out of the way. that's that section now let's get the section on the end on that end I don't like that end it's not very clean so we'll get a center line marked on here let's put that there Then the idea is that this section is flush. There's no gap with the top of the beam and that sets everything correctly. So I'm gonna see this center line behind there, pilot the two central ones, super crucial. So I've got my pilot for the first two and we'll fix those in. So it's crucial that you get those two in, it's all central and it's dead flush on the top. And then it's a matter of just piloting the rest. You can make sure you're central as well from the flange edges. It's absolutely spot on. And we can pilot all the rest out now. Get them fixed up. They're great screw these, Spax screw that they supply. Two good brands working in harmony. Simpson and Spax. Almost joined at the hip as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm doing is I'm getting them all in and then I'll do them all up together. So we'll get them all so, so. So a bit like you're tightening a car wheel up. Don't over tighten them at this stage. What you don't want to do is over tighten these, they want to be just so. This and that is the way we do it.
So there's the post and beams all in position now with the connections hidden away really nicely behind here and here. And it's just such a nice, simple, strong fixing. They're absolutely fantastic, perfect for glue lamb, and there's no fixings on show. Even though hardly any of this will be seen, it's really nice because if it was on the show, you've got no metal dowels going through, you've got no spline connectors or anything like that. So I really like them. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll leave a link down in the description to the product and at least then you know what you're looking at if you want to have a go at them. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're unsubscribed and I'll see you again soon.